Welcome everyone. My name is Mary Alice Berg. I'm an Associate Director of Admission in Loyola's Undergraduate Admissions Office. And today I'm really excited to present to you about Loyola's Quinlan Business Honors Program. I work very closely with the Program Director on the admission process for these students. And I'm also a very proud Quinlan graduate myself. I earned my MBA from Loyola in 2014. Today, this presentation is going to cover all that's ahead over the next four years of your experience in the Quinlan Honors Program. And I'm really excited to share um, all the ins and outs of the program with you today. Okay, now let's get started talking more about the Quinlan Business Honors Program at Loyola University Chicago. The Quinlan Business Honors Program is a community of highly motivated Quinlan students focused on building their leadership skills, mastering business concepts, and networking and collaborating with one another. The program has 120 undergraduate students. These students range from freshmen through seniors, and the program welcomes students from any academic major within the Quinlan School of Business, as well as undecided students. So what does the Quinlan Honors Program include? There are four main components that we're gonna talk about today. The first is that our first year Quinlan Honors students live in community with each other during their first year on campus. So your floor in your residence hall during your first year at Loyola is going to be other students from the Quinlan Honors Program. Your RA is oftentimes from Quinlan Honors and you're really forming this strong, tight-knit community with other people that are in your Quinlan Honors cohort. The living requirement for honors is only um, a requirement during your first year on campus, during your sophomore year, during your junior year, and during your senior year. You can live in whichever residence hall you want with whatever roommates you decide to room with. Um, but during that first year, you're going to be, you know, paired up with a roommate that's also in Quinlan Honors, and you're going to live in one of our residence halls with other honors students. The other components of the program we're gonna go much more in depth on in this presentation, and those are honors only sections of Quinlan Business Core classes, our weekly seminars and site visits, as well as your annual co-curricular projects. So the honors curriculum is typically made up of your business core courses. So to take a small step back, um, because Loyola uses the word core a lot, um, the first core that students are oftentimes introduced to at Loyola is the university core. This is a set of classes that range from English writing to history, philosophy, social science, fine arts, um, theology. This is a set of classes that we think when you walk across that stage at graduation that the University core guarantees that you are this well-rounded Jesuit educated person. So Quinlan students, just like students from any other major at Loyola, everyone will take that university core. Then business students are taking the business core. The purpose of the business core is to introduce you to a wide variety of different areas in the business world. Um, while you are ultimately going to choose a major in the Quinlan School of Business, it's also important for you to know about different functions in the business world. This information is going to help you grow and develop in your career. Um, to draw out an example, if you decided to major in marketing at Loyola and you had your very first job um, doing marketing for an organization after graduation, um, you're doing a job of a marketing professional, but you might also need to look at budgets and you're also going to have to work with other people. So classes like finance and accounting, courses like management that you are required to take in Loyola's business core are really going to help you even though your major was marketing and your main everyday job is marketing. As you grow further in your career, it becomes more and more important for you to have a really strong um, knowledge base of the other areas of business and how they overlap. Um, and so Loyola's business core helps all of our business students um, really become dynamic business professionals who are specialists in one area, but know about a lot of other things in the business world. So your business core um, allows you to try on a lot of business classes for size. I hear from a lot of students who will say, I know that I want to study business at Loyola, but I'm not sure which major I want to choose because I've never taken a finance class or an accounting class or an entrepreneurship class. The business core is going to expose you to a lot of those courses. Quinlan honor students aren't just taking 
any section of a core class, they are specifically enrolling in the honor section of those classes. These courses tend to be smaller in size and the faculty members are working closely with the director of the honors program to make sure that they're offering students in these courses um, special types of challenges and um, unique opportunities that you might not encounter in the traditional um, business courses. So this is a snapshot of your first and second year at Loyola. So two accounting courses, a business information systems course, microeconomics, macroeconomics, business statistics, managing people and organizations, and principles of marketing. This is not necessarily the order that you'll take these classes. You will still work closely with your academic advisor on course planning to make sure that you're taking courses in the correct sequence, that you're completing all your university core requirements and that you're keeping other um, double majors and minors and other things that you might have in the back of your head as part of your academic plan. Um, but these are the specific sections of those business core classes that you will take on the honors level during your first two years. During the last two years, you continue to work on that business uh, core in those business honors courses with business analytics, principles of corporate finance, business law, ethics and business, strategic management, operations management, business management, looking at it specifically through a social and global perspective. And then you have the choice of taking an analytical decision-making course or a research practicum, um, typically during your last year at Loyola. Again, to reiterate, in these sections of courses, you're with other students that are also business honor students. Um, some of them will be mixed with different levels. So for example, your business analytics class might be a mix of juniors and seniors that are in the business honors program. It's not as if you're only taking classes with the people from your exact year um, during the whole experience. The next thing that I want to talk about is the weekly Quinlan Honor Seminar. This is a really special opportunity for the entire Quinlan Honors community. So 120 students strong, freshmen through seniors, tons of different Quinlan majors represented to gather in community for about an hour every week um, to do specific programming. The programming is organized by the director of the Business Honors Program, and it includes things like guest speakers from Chicago, the Chicago business community, um, site visits, which are field trips to Chicago companies, service projects, social activities, um, panel presentations, and things like that. So your weekly honor seminar is going to be a lot of um, kind of business knowledge that you're gonna develop through those guest speakers, but you're also gonna have fun and have the opportunity to develop your um, kind of posse of people that are your friends and your network um, within the Quinlan Honors Program. This is a list of some of the recent Quinlan Honors Seminar speakers that have come to campus over the last few years. Again, when these speakers come to campus, they've made the decision that they want to give a talk to Quinlan Honors students. So they're not just there to tell you about what life is like um, to work at Baxter Healthcare, for example. They're also there to answer your questions after their talk, to possibly exchange contact information, to get coffee, to like pick their brain about how they got to where they are in their career and to share advice with you. Um, so these are really unique opportunities for you to network and connect with business professionals from all across a wide variety of different disciplines. Then the Quinlan Honor Seminar will each year visit a few different business sites within the Chicago area. As I mentioned on the previous slide, this is a field trip where you will gather with your other Quinlan Honor students. You will travel to a specific location. When you're on that site, you'll hear from people that work at that organization. You'll probably tour the spaces that they're using um, and get a sense of what life is like at a variety of different companies. So this and the last few years, we've gone to Google, Yelp, 1871 is a um, tech startup incubator. So for students interested in entrepreneurship, that was a really interesting experience for them to talk to professionals that are in the very early stages of starting their own businesses and to learn about the resources that are available at that 1871 incubator. 
M Hub Chicago is an organization that um, focuses on physical product development. And so for students that are interested in, you know, operation supply chain, finance, things like that, it was um, an opportunity for them to interact with the manufacturing sector, um, which sometimes people might not think of that being available in a city like Chicago, but it absolutely is. And then CBRE is a real estate um, investment firm here in the Chicago area. When you visit these different places, you're talking to people, you're also getting a vibe and a feeling for what working at that organization might be like. I know after site visits, some students in their brain are, you know, rushing to their computer to go to that company's website to see if there are any internships, full-time jobs, and things like that offered after graduation because they really enjoyed the feeling that they had being a part of that organization and being on site with that particular place. Um, there are typically a few different site visits offered each year, um, and again, the array of companies that are offered, that's going to change from year to year. This is, again, just a sample of what we've done in the last few years. And then the Quinlan Honors Seminar students also do have some fun. Um, they will do service projects together. They'll take outings to Rambler athletic games. They also make a real strong effort to stay connected to the greater Quinlan community. So annually or every other year, they typically do a Q&A session with the Dean of the Business School, um, Kevin Stevens. They'll also do a Q&A with our Baumhart Center, which is a center within Quinlan where people are uh, um, starting businesses and working in the business world with a particular focus on like social responsibility and service and giving back. Um, so these are business leaders that maybe look really different from the business leaders that come and talk during seminar. And in recent years, our students have had the opportunity to pick those um, Baumhart scholars brains um, and learn about how they developed this um, kind of combination of business and service and how that has unrolled in that per particular person's career during their career experience. And then the co-curricular project is sort of something that you can think of as an annual capstone project. Um, so each year of your Quinlan experience, you will present your co-curricular project to your peers, the other people that are in the honors program, as well as the director of the program. Each year has, each year's co-curricular has a specific theme. So we're gonna walk through the themes now so you have an idea of what to expect when you are uh, a Quinlan honors student. The first year we really focus on leadership. So leadership is incredibly important in business. It's also important in business school. When you are going to school to learn about business, you are put in a lot of group project scenarios. You're constantly giving presentations in groups. And during your four years at Loyola, there's going to be a lot of times where you're gonna need to take on that leadership role. So within Quinlan Honors during the first year, we want students to really take some time to think about what does leadership look like for me? What have been my previous leadership experiences? What are leadership experiences I hope to have in the future? Um, what does leadership look like for a person like myself? We are lucky at Loyola to have an incredibly active division of student development. And within the division of student development, they do a lot of leadership programming. To fulfill this co-curricular that's required during your first year in Quinlan Honors, you might take part in a leadership retreat that's offered through the division of student development. You might take part in another leadership program that they offer, or you might branch off and work in a small group with other Quinlan Honors students, um, to discern your leadership qualities that way and then present your findings to the greater Quinlan Honors community um, at your seminar. The director of the honors program is there to guide and support and give you advice as you pick and um, decide how to use and design your co-curricular project. Um, so the sky is the limit in terms of what you decide to come up with. Um, the director of the honors program is very open to students kind of taking taking this and running with it and making it their own. Um, so she's there to kind of hold your hand and guide you through the process, but she's also there if you're running in with five different ideas to say, yep, that sounds great, go off and do it. Um, and again, remember, you will um, present your leadership experience, whatever that looks like, to the greater Quinlan Honors community at your weekly seminar, typically in April. 
during your sophomore year, we want to have you start to think about how you can give back to the community. Um, Loyola's business school has a really strong focus on creating ethical leaders that are not just strong in business, but are also giving back to communities. So during your sophomore year, you're going to look at on-campus Loyola service opportunities. Um, the, as a Jesuit university, we have a wide variety of different service opportunities that students can take advantage of. Basically, any day of the week, you could probably be connecting with an office or an organization to give back in some way. So during your second year on campus, you'll connect with the different offices that organize community service programs for students to figure out which one is the best fit for your schedule, and then you will do service um, to our Loyola community. So that might look like um, going to tutor at an after school program in the Edgewater community near Loyola's Lakeshore campus. It might look, which is what we're seeing on this picture, like traveling out to Loyola's retreat and ecology campus and doing participating in one of their like cleanup days where they get the grounds all spick and span and ready for all the visitors and retreats that come through. Um, there's a wide variety of different service projects that students can take on. So they're focusing on a uh, service that's connected to the Loyola community or found through Loyola offices and organizations. And again, Loyola and the director of the honors program will connect you to the different opportunities um, that students might have to get in touch with all these different service uh, programs that are available at Loyola. During your junior year, you're going to continue to develop that service mindset, but now you're looking at how can I provide service off campus and how can I provide service where I'm utilizing the skills that I've learned so far in the Quinlan School of Business. So students are performing off campus service to an external organization and oftentimes they're working with nonprofits small businesses, and they're actually offering their business skills to these different um, groups and organizations. To give an example, we had a nonprofit that was right in our Rogers Park backyard that needed some assistance when it came to developing a marketing plan and social media. So a Quinlan honor student worked with them to kind of get their social media channels off the ground and to give them an idea about how they could market in that way going forward. Other students who were majoring in accounting <coughs> connected with an organization in the Chicagoland area that offers free tax preparation help to senior citizens. So they were utilizing the skills that they learned in the classroom when it came to accounting, but then using it to give back to the greater Chicago community. This is um, something that this particular form of service is something that students will be able to talk about when they go in for internship interviews and job interviews. And it's also something that will um, hopefully inspire them to continue to give back even when they graduate from Loyola and go into the business world, always thinking about like how can they give a little bit more um, to the greater community going forward. And then during your senior year, you will be doing research um, on an original topic that you come up with um, in advisement with the director of the honors program. Research will probably start at the beginning of your senior year where you're developing the question that you want to answer and what is your process going to look like. And it will culminate at our Weekend of Excellence, which is an annual event held on Loyola's campus that recognizes all the great work that our students do in the classroom in any given year. One of my favorite events at the Weekend of Excellence each year is the Provost Spring Undergraduate Research Symposium. And that's where all of the students who've done research from a wide variety of different disciplines at Loyola will be able to give oral presentations where they talk about their research. They can give poster presentations, which are represented uh, with the picture on the slide, to talk about all the research that they did during that particular year on campus. Um, so students in Quinlan Honors will do research associated with their business interests and their major. Um, examples of past research projects include um, one of our students had a really um, inspiring and impactful study abroad experience in Italy. And so his senior year research project, um, he was an entrepreneurship major, was looking at regulations for small businesses in Italy versus in the US. You know, is it easier to start a business abroad or here um, in our back?
backyard. And so he got really deep into what's offered to people, what incentives there are, and then presented that research. Other people might um, take this as an opportunity to get to know like a particular type of software on an in-depth level. A lot of our information system students will be looking at some of the statistical analysis software. So they'll download these big data sets, um, work with them, build some models, and then present that as their research. So it really is, it's not a one size fits all. It's very unique to what you want to achieve doing research and what your specific interests are. I will be honest and say that research is not something that you hear about a ton in different business schools across the country. And so I'm really inspired and impressed that Quinlan Honors um, requires students to take on this research. Um, research requires you to look at problems differently and move your brain in a different way than your regular business classes might. And I know when our students graduate and look back on that experience, they're really thankful um, that they were able to take part in research in a curriculum like business, um, which is, you know, something that you don't find as often as students doing research, say, in the sciences or psychology or something like that. And then again, to reiterate, <laughs> similar to the other areas, you will present your research both at that undergraduate research symposium, but you'll also share all of your information with the Greater Quinlan Honors community in your seminar as well. That is the end of the presentation today. However, I don't want the conversation to stop here. So my contact information is below. Again, I'm Mary Alice Berg, Associate Director of Undergraduate Admissions at Loyola's Admissions Office. My email address is there if you wanna reach out to ask any follow-up questions or to have a more in-depth conversation about what Quinlan and uh, Quinlan Honors can offer you as a student. The top contact is also very valuable. Um, Professor Amy Kehos is the Director of the Quinlan Honors Program. She's an Executive Lecturer in the Management Program and she is the person organizing that weekly seminar. She's the person that you're going to with your questions and concerns. Um, she's an invaluable resource for our students, and she is available um, to answer questions over email, to set up a phone call, to have a more in-depth conversation. Um, she is also here to help you as you decide um, whether Loyola is the school that you'll start at next year. I hope it is. Um, I think the Quinlan community offers students so much, and the Quinlan Honors Program just kind of takes everything that Quinlan offers and kind of gives you an even deeper and more in-depth experience. And I look forward to seeing what you all accomplish on our campus in the Quinlan Honors Program. Um, thank you so much for listening today and I look forward to continue to talking to you in the future. Thank you, have a great day.